In this video, we'll be looking at clinical management. Another clinical management, we'll be looking at how to set appointment, how to assess doctor waiting pool, clinical documentation, how to send investigation request to the lab, drug assessment, drug prescription, and lastly, we'll be looking at billing. So here, I click on clinic management. To set appointment, you can check out set appointment video. Okay, once I click on the doctor waiting pool, I have this interface, and uh, here, I can select my clinic. General clinic and I have my clinic schedule here. So my clinic run from Sunday to Saturday. To assess my patient, I click on the clinic day. Today is Friday. I have Samson Elizabeth in my patient waiting pool. I click on this drop down. Select that into patient. Double click on this. So I have my clinical documentation here. So and then, then I have this click on create documentation then I have my clinic progress note under my clinic progress note I have presenting complaints history of presenting complaints review of system family and social history past medical history physical examination diagnosis assessment plan I can look at other notes operation notes there are other documentation types here we definitely will work with you to look at your template and then be able to put that in the system so we're looking at clinic progress notes and that clinic progress note we have presenting complaints I said the presenting complaint is a um, headache. So we have code, save selected, and then click on this. And then if the other information may be plan, diagnosis, uh, let's say fever. All right, so let's say with this one we have, and then here I can click on preview documentation to see what I've typed. All right, so I have this printable format. So once I'm through this documentation, I can either click on complete documentation or save as draft. I'm going to have something like this, which means that this particular information, I mean, it can be modified. I can add more data to it. But once I click on complete documentation, it means that I cannot modify that information. Once I save, it's saved completely. All right, so let me save this completely. So on the 29, okay, I have to clinic progress note. I have a clinic progress note. I have, okay, this one is saved completely. This is not saved completely. So I can still go further and add more information to this. I can come down to my plan. That's what my plan is. And let me just put plan there. Plan. Okay. I have save selected documentation. So let's go back to preview and have my plan plans here. So which means this information has be added. So here I cannot save it completely. So if I go back here. I have to complete a clinic progress note. If I need to send a request to the lab or I need to just to click on investigation. Okay, here I have make request. Okay, so if I have the lab number, uh, I mean the uh, the patient lab number can as well be the hospital number. So depending on your procedure, for the purpose of this training, let's just use one. And then the clinical information, if you have it, you put it here. If not, system will just put not available for you so but if you have any clinical information you can type in and you have your diagnosis you put it in here so what i need to do is to click on add examination and then here on the laboratory i have microbiology i have hematology so let me look at hematology so these are the list of investigations so let me say okay i'm looking at genotype so to add examination and then let's say hiv screening add examination so here you can see the two selected investigation genotype and um, HIV screening. So one I'm true, I click on finish, or I can add more. I can go to microbiology, for instance, and then I want to run, let's say, wider. Okay, I just do it. So I have this. So I click on finish. All right. So here I have the list of my requests. I have them here, and then once I'm satisfied, I click on save. Now, this information will definitely go to my lab. So, I can run my prescription from here. So, we'll be looking at prescription. If your pharmacy runs as a separate entity, whereby you have a pharmacist, a pharmacy technician will do the costing and then the billing for pharmacy, definitely you can send your prescription. So, whichever one it is. So, if you have a pharmacist or maybe a pharmacy technician who will do your um, your costing, I mean your assessment, I mean your drug assessment, I mean be able to do your costing. But if as a doctor you have to do your assessment, that means you have to do your drug costing yourself. Then really what you need is assessment. So let's quickly look at a uh, prescription. So once I have prescription, I have this interface and um, here I have the generic. So 
I can type in let's say para okay so I have a paracetamol okay I have paracetamol and then if I have a maybe multivite multivite so that's the generic name so for the purpose of this training let's look at paracetamol okay if I pick paracetamol and here I, so let's say I'm using uh I'm using paracetamol tab uh to type in your prescription here and then once you have this you click on the okay let's do this again all right okay so I have a prescription enabled so I can have this and then if there are other pre uh, prescription I need to look at for motivate okay I'm going to have it in the clinic okay I have uh this so I pick this okay so I pick this again and then so this is once I'm okay with this I click on authorize prescription go to my pharmacy so my uh, my pharmacist or maybe a pharmacy technician can do the costing okay but as a doctor you have to do that myself so what I need to do is click on assessment and under assessment I have this interface so I have the patient details here so what I need to do is for me to search for the drug here let's say I need paracetamol to so have this paracetamol injection and then from here you can see the type is EMSO I have this another brand and then the quantity in unit I mean what I have in my pharmacy is this so they the ones I'm dispensed I know what is available in my pharmacy so as I'm giving him so and um, okay I click on this again so I have the present balance and then I have the unit price this five mil per tablet as I'm giving let's say 20 of these I click on new assessment add and then here I can put an uh, instruction let's say to be this sorry so if I need to add more so all I need to do is just to go here and uh, okay I have this after the other quantity so if you have in the balance and doesn't tally with what you have if you go here just click once again and then have this so you can have your 3000 um i can pick okay let's say i'm giving 10 of this i don't have to click on new assessment again because if i click on new assessment it's going to clear off this what i need now is just for me to click on hard so and then here i can come here and put my instruction all right so once i'm through with this i click on save so this goes to my pharmacy as well so if i come down to billing for this particular patient now you can see that this patient is having an outstanding bill of 130 and that is the service charge for pharmacy all right you can see pharmacy charge so if there are other bills you need to add to this let's say we have different department here let's say that admission and admission let's say i want to charge for consultation and then let's say for this hospital is 200 error and then and then let's say things i mean i need to charge yeah, I have review under medical examination, local report. I can add this to it. Click on coming transaction, it add up this money. And then, I mean, okay, now I have a current bill of 700 naira. And then the outstanding, which is for the pharmacy, that is 130 coming transaction. In this video, we've been able to look at clinical documentation, investigation, prescription, assessment, and billing. Thank you for viewing.